So hello and welcome to Parados Diaries, our produce episode. So last week we showed you a little insight into all of the fruit and veg that comes off our land and then is stored. And this week is just a little insight into some of the things we like to do with it, um, especially early on as you get a glut of beetroot that comes that you need to process in some way, or all of the apples, or just seeing all of the meat come back. And what a crazy scenario it is to have a hundred plus what was it, 120 kilos of meat on your side that then you've got to process in a day. Absolute nuts, but we're going to look into that. But to begin with today, as I promised last week, every day for the last um, five, six months, I've taken a picture of the fruit and veg patch behind me to see how it develops over the year. And it has been made into this amazing time-lapse video, just seeing how the seasons come and go, how the produce grows and blossoms over that time. And then as harvest just takes little bits from each section. So to begin with, we're gonna have that and then we'll go into just a few little snippets over the last few weeks and months of um, us enjoying the produce that has come off our land. Yeah, we're starting off by cooking up just the last of the ham from last year because our pigs um, are leaving us on Monday and so we're going to clear the decks of last year's pork, last little bit of ham, so we're going to boil that up and roast that for lunch. We're putting on some nice fresh bread to go with it and then we're going to be picking, what we're picking, damsons and we're going to dig up some potatoes, we've got some corn on the cob to dig up as well, some apples and some blackberries, so we're going to make jams and a load of crumble to put in the freezer, so the crumble mix apple and blackberry, we've got um, what else, pears that are coming off as well, we've got loads and loads of apples, so we'll give some to the pigs to help finish them off and uh, store some, we're going to do what else? We need to do some strimming, we need to tag the pigs. Oh, the beetroot! We're going to cook some beetroot and pickle some beetroot. So there is loads happening. Hopefully I will remember throughout the day to keep on recording little snippets of it uh, so you can see harvest at Caddick Dord happening this weekend. Right, let's crack on with boiling up this ham and getting some bread on, shall we? Yeah. Honey. Yeah. What's that, matey? Is Tidy harvesting honey as well today? Yeah. We have to we have to take a picture of the honey. Take a picture of that. So there's John harvesting honey as well. He's been doing this all week. Forty jars of honey so far, and loads more coming off today. Ah, oh, it's all happening. We are making jam. What are you doing, Luce? Nah. 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 You doing some baking? Yeah. Yeah. Rachel's helping out now as well. Side profile, Rachel. Oh! <laughs> right, Caleb. So the damsons are just softening up nicely now. So we're going to move those into the big jar. So the big pan, and then we've got beetroot ready for pickling, and we've got some beetroot in the oven as well with some ham. And um, put the beetroot to then make beetroot burgers for dinner. Is that good? Yep. Ha ha. Ha ha. 
stained. Got lots of this amazing compote to make into jam now. Everything's very purple. Damson purple, beetroot purple, Caleb purple. No. <laughs> What is that, Kay? Egg. An egg. Our first duck egg from these ducks. You gonna grab it? And it's clean. And it's clean. Has <laughs> the duck cleaned it? Yeah. I think he. Um, Can you reach it? it? Yeah, I can't. Got it. I think he might have used it with his wings. To just wipe it off. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's starting to out. Okay. Pigs have returned in a different form. Look at this. We've got loads of joints, tons and tons of chops, loads of sausages, loads of sausage meat. Look at that. So we're going to make some scotch eggs and basil brush and oh, amazing stuff. And then these are the bags. So they've actually turned out to be six kilo bags rather than five kilo bags to sell. But there we go, those are the ones with like a whole mixture of some joints, some chops, some sausages, some sausage, uh, no, some mince, some diced pork, everything you could imagine. Very exciting. So this is two of the three pigs, because one of the pigs has all gone to one of our friends who has bought the whole thing and he's getting it processed um, at the same butcher, but he's gonna pick that up separately. Ideal. What's just come back, Caleb? The meat. The from meat the from the pigs. Does it look tasty? Yeah. Yeah, they look a bit different now though, don't they? Is it all right though? You're looking forward to eating it? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Cool. This, reading my dad's Farmer's Weekly. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, who cares, yeah. And here's your favourite one, ready? What's the, oh, missed it. What's that? Daddy. Tractor, yeah. You like that one, don't you? That's a big tractor. Wow. I'm going to get devoured. Oh, monuts.